Is candida causing your psoriasis? And if you're able to eliminate this fungal overgrowth, will your skin symptoms clear up? And in order to do so, are you gonna to need to completely eliminate sugar, at least for the time being? In this video, I wanna address the topic of candida, talk a little bit about what it is, and give my best practices for how to overcome it if you do think that you have a candida infection. So what is candida? Like I said, it is a fungal overgrowth, and you know the mainstream idea of what causes it is it is an overconsumption of sugar and basically this yeast like fungus feeds off of sugar and i do believe obviously that the overconsumption of sugar um, has a big role here and has a lot to do with it but also you know i think we have a way of demonizing certain things and you know placing the full blame on one thing and in my opinion i don't think necessarily sugar is the culprit like i said i think it's the overconsumption of it um i also believe that you know it depends which sugar it is high fructose corn syrup i think is going to be much more likely to cause a yeast like infection doesn't even need to be candida than say you know just pure sugar or sugar from oranges or orange juice or fruit or whatever so does sugar have something to do with it yes obviously but i think as always it's important to look at context and of course it's not only sugar you know i think the overconsumption of polyunsaturated fats basically anything that is going to cause damage to the gut is going to leave you more vulnerable to developing any kind of bacterial um, yeast infection in the gut and candida is like sort of the main one uh, that a lot of people focus on and just kind of the more popularized one that we hear about uh, most often and like I said, the classic idea is that candida is caused by an overconsumption of sugar. And so your classic idea for what an anti-candida diet is, is to basically, you know, completely eliminate sugar and starve the fungus and not give it anything that it's going to be able to feed off of. But do you completely have to eliminate sugar in order to overcome candida? I thoroughly do not believe that to be true. I've seen people who have been dealing with candida issues. Um, I had candida issues in the past, and I didn't find that I necessarily needed to completely eliminate uh, sugar to make that happen. Obviously, you know, watch your cons consumption, and like I'm saying, you know, you might want to really cut that down and make your sugar consumption really low. But at the end of the day, sugar and carbohydrates are absolute, they're essential. Um, you know, we may not need them to survive, but in this modern world, um, I think you absolutely need them in order to thrive and to optimize your health and live in the best way. So you can take these extreme uh, approaches and take on an anti-candida approach and completely eliminate sugar uh, for, a t for a temporary period. And that could potentially work for you. But if you take that same kind of framework, you know, kind of an animal-based uh, framework, you know, protein-centric sort of diet, and you throw some sugar in there, you know, maybe you have a little bit of orange juice throughout the day, or you have some uh, raw goat milk, have some lactose, sugar coming in or maybe you know you have some potatoes i do not think you know that's going to kill anybody especially if your gut is in a really bad place you might be better off in the short term kind of keeping those on the low side just because you so you can add them back in and see how you respond when you do add them in but as i'm always saying you know you guys don't feel the need to lock yourself in to any extreme if you want to use an anti-candida you know extremely low sugar sort of approach, take it for what it is and use it and grow from there. And basically, you know, just gather information from whatever you're trying. And, you know, you might find that eating 100 grams of carbs um, and even in the form of, you know, really sugary foods like, you know, raw honey and fruit, you may find that you do great with that. But you also might find that once you bump that number up to 175, um, 200, that's when you might start having gut issues or, or maybe you don't. But that's just something you want to pay attention to. I just, the reason for making this video is, you know, I see a lot of people, you know, demonizing sugar out there, and I just think it's extremely counterproductive. Sugar is not causing candida. It's the overconsumption of sugar, it's poor eating in general, and it's just gut dysbiosis. And I think, you know, dialing in, you know, your macros and understanding that is going to be a huge one. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. As usual, uh, click the link below the video and head to my website, naturalpsoriasishealing.com. Watch my free proven psoriasis protocol free training video, apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching, or watch my supplement regimen video uh, so you guys can kind of get dialed in with that stuff. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next video.